Welcome to Online Yoga School. I'm Steph. Today, we're going to be doing Ardha, Bada, Padma, Pashimottanasana. What is that? Ardha means half, uh, Bada means bound, Padma is lotus, and Pashimottanasana is forward bend. So we're doing a half lotus forward bend. And this is one of the postures in the primary series of Ashtanga. So let's hop to it, besties. Come to the mat. You might want to have a strap available and a couple of blankets. Uh, I've got my props here. Love my props. Can't practice without them. And we begin in Dangasana. So staff pose. So you'll come to sit on the mat, move all the fleshy stuff out of the way, and extend the legs in front of you. Now, right away, when you do this, if your hammies are tight like mine, you're going to notice a little tilt in the pelvis when you extend the legs and you lose some length in the spine. So maybe when the knees are bent, the spine is long and as you begin to straighten, this happens. So if that is the case, friends, um, you might wanna sit on a blanket or even a stack of blankets, whatever feels good for you. Okay, now before we get started, it's important to know that half lotus piece of the posture is a critical element of coming into half bound lotus forward fold. So if you don't have the half lotus, then I'm going to link my video to lotus so that you can check out how to work lotus, how to come into half lotus, how to modify so that it's safe for your body and so that you're honoring your practice in your body. Now, if you don't have half lotus, that doesn't preclude you from moving forward. Everyone can practice this posture and I'm going to show you some modifications. So first, we're going to go through the pose as if you have half lotus. Uh, move all of the flesh so that the sit bones are connected and make sure in staff pose that you're up nice and tall, okay? And then you're going to begin by bending the right knee and hugging the right foot in towards the chest. So from here, we kind of rock back and forth. We're just working a little bit of hip opening. You know, it's important to warm up and make sure that the hip is open before we go into half lotus. And then you bring the foot towards the navel, pause here, inhale and find that length in the spine. And then as you exhale, begin to bring the right foot over towards the left hip crease, left groin area. Now, you'll notice my knee is floating. So I like to bring blankets, sometimes even a block under this knee. Um, and you never wanna force the knee down to the mat because that's not helpful, it can cause a lot of injury. So it's much better to build the floor up to the knee. So from this place, we're gonna to begin to twist to look out over the right shoulder. And then walk the right hand behind the back and let the right hand grab onto the shirt. And if you feel like you still have some space to keep going, keep moving and see if the right hand might grab onto the right toes. So I'm gonna hook my right toes here and then sit up nice and tall. If the belly is in the way or you're feeling compression between the thigh and the belly as you come into the twist, scoop the belly and lift it. Inhale for length, exhale to twist and then release the belly. And if you can't quite hook the toes, it's no biggie. You can grab onto the back of the shirt. If you really wanted to, you can wrap a strap around the foot and then bring the strap around the back and hook the hand on the strap to find that connection. But it's really not necessary. You can just grab onto your shirt, whatever you've got. So from the twist, we begin to inhale and find length. And then as you exhale, begin to bow forward. So you're leading with the heart here. We're not thinking nose down, nose to knee. We're not thinking head to foot. We're thinking more like lead with the heart and let the crown of the head extend as if it can go past the foot. And then send the left arm up to the sky. And as you fold, the left hand might catch the left foot. If it doesn't, also no biggie. You can bring your strap around the bottom of the left foot and hold on to the strap. And then inhale for length. And as you exhale, you bow in on yourself. And just like with all forward bends, the important thing here is that we keep the length in the spine. So no matter what happens, we don't want to lose that length in the spine. We want to keep that as we're practicing today. So now we're going to talk about some modifications. So as you can see, I'm all modified up here. <laughs> you can bring the blankets or block underneath the knee if that feels good. Um, you can sit on a blanket, you can sit on a block. 
You don't have to hook the toes. And if you want to see what this would look like from the other side, when you hook the toes, it looks like this from the back. So you can even grab on to the shirt. You can use the strap here if that's more helpful. And if you don't have that half lotus, you can bring the sole of the foot right into the inner thigh. So if you do this, you're definitely not gonna catch the toes. So you would just reach behind the back and grab onto your shirt and just start walking it over towards the left hip and then come into the fold. So this is a great posture, it's relaxing for the brain. It opens the hips, it lengthens the quadriceps, and of course the twisting action in this posture is great for digestion. And also something about the placement of the heel here really stimulates the abdominal organs. So thank you for practicing with me today. If you could, leave a comment. Let me know how you like this. Uh, let me know what modifications work for you. And Arda, Vado, Padma, Pashimotanasada, Half Bound Lotus Forward Fold. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.